No time for no introduction. I'm just going to jump right into it. And we about to get in Jetpack Compose. So first thing to do, go onto the site right here. Uh, and we're going to download the preview release, the beta build, you know? That. Oh, yeah. All right, so look, go down. Don't even read this. Just click I want it and then press the download. Oh, man, I just want to tell you about my what I've been up to. You know, I've been ever since the pandemic, you know, I've been trying to like uh, I've been ordering a lot of Uber Eats, you know, getting fat. I've been trying to lose like 20 pounds, man, just before I can get back to my old basketball self, you know, again. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. So anyway, so look, all right, after your download is done, go ahead and drag that over to go to your download folder, drag that over to your desktop. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract that. We're going to extract this right here on the desktop. Yeah, man, I've been ordering a lot of, you know, pizza, wings, you know, Italian food. I love Italian food. You know, things like that. And, you know, your boy packed on about a good 20 pounds around the midsection. So I've been hitting this thing, this new cardio workout called uh, Insanity by Sean T. It's old school, but it, it get the job done, you know. All right, so once we get that extracted to the folder, all right, let's go in, go into the bin. Let's find the application, all right? Create that good shortcut. Let's go ahead and launch Arctic Fox, and let's see what we can do. Okay, so right here, you know what? If you got any other configurations, all right, so I don't have any of your past configurations, so we're going to cancel that out. I'm going to go with the defaults. Press OK. All right, so right here, you want to go ahead and press Next. The whole type, we want to just stick with the defaults. We're not doing any custom installations. Yup, press next. Select the theme. You know, I like the black theme. I like the Dracula theme, you know, like nighttime. All right, let's go ahead and press next or finish on that one. All right, so right here, we got our download components done. So go ahead and click new project. And we're going to do a new composable project. Go ahead and name it Jetpack Compose. I, we do that for our first. Type in your name and we're gonna click finish. All right, so this is how it's gonna look once your new activity is coming up, your new composable activity. All right, so once everything loads up, just waiting for the preview to load up here. And then, man, we're gonna be on our way. All right, so after the build's done, see on this right-hand side, we got our preview window. Hello Android. And we got these composable functions here. So let's go ahead and delete these functions. And let's start from scratch where we can really dig in and get to know how this stuff works. All right. So being an Android, being so used to XML, you know, we're so used to putting these views in XML. Now we need to figure out how we're going to wrap our mind around making these views in code. So out the box, composable comes with um, these functions. Uh, say for instance like a text view stuff like that so what we can do here let's go we go set content and we can call a text we can call text right and that is a function like a, that's going to be our text view so uh, this is our text view all right, we can say something like that. This is our text view. So right there, this is a function that's already out the box. Uh, it's the equivalent of the text view. Okay, so let's run this. Let's go ahead and run it and see what we get. Let's go. I'm still trying to wrap my mind around this whole thing too, but we're going to get there. We're going to learn it. We're going to get there and it's going to be new and it's going to be, you know, the new way to go. Here we go. Okay, so we launched. Oh, and you see this is a text view pretty sweet pretty sweet so let's talk about composable functions a composable function can only be called within the scope of another composable function say for instance like this set content we can create a function here let's go down here we're going to annotate it composable creating a function uh this is called calling it greetings and keep in mind Okay, this is going to be a string. It's going to be a, uh, all right. And then we can do our text. We, we just doing the simple basic hello world. 
All right, simple string. And if you notice, look, if you notice, Control Alt L. Let's 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 format the code. So if you notice, for a composable function, they have to start with a uppercase. So now right here, okay. So we're gonna go. Let's do this. Greeting, and let's go ahead and throw in our name. We'll put my name. Hello, Roy. How about that? Yeah. Oh, and this is supposed to be name. What am I doing? All right. So now let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. This is just—I'm just covering the basics, man. We—we're gonna dig. We're, we're gonna dig deeper into this. Run this. Oh, boom! You see that? Hello, Roy. Okay. So we got greeting. So uh, I hope you guys understand that right there. So now you might be asking yourself, how come? Well, first off, what we have that's new by using this. We have a preview window over here where we can actually preview what we're doing but we, we, we don't see it right now right because it, it's you can't use the preview you can only preview a composable function that does not take any parameters let's do something like this let's create another function we're going to annotate it with preview because we want this to be a preview so another function this function is going to be called preview Reading. And we're not going to have any parameters. We are going to call greeting, a greeting function. Let's go ahead and call greeting function and let's throw in our name. Boom. Okay. You see down here it says rendering preview 101. What we have to do is we have to rebuild the project. See, it says the preview is out of date. So you always got to rebuild project i think they'll probably update that later on in a newer version but for, as of for right now you need to build a refresh and when we build a refresh we should get this over here in the preview section oh look at that there you go your boy roy so this is a text view this is this is pretty dope this is pretty neat this is pretty nice okay so that's how we preview uh a composable function okay all right makes sense makes sense I'm actually, you know, still learning a lot on this too, but this is great to show you guys and we can learn together. So, all right, I guess next, you know, we want to go into a layout. So, hey, stick around for the next video because this is just tip of the iceberg. Tip of the iceberg. Stick around for the next video, man.